special sequence of nucleotides. Recombinant marking is based on a combination frequency. If you want to get in the 99 percentile on the USMLE, go ahead and do it. And this is your opportunity. They've prepared us for you know, the educational part of it. They build us very strong for the USMLEs. And as our scores indicate, we're up there with everybody else. Down in Grenada, we learned a lot of the basic sciences and built this fundamental base of knowledge that we kind of build up upon in the clinical years. And I'm applying for residency in anesthesiology. And I did most of my third and fourth year at New York Methodist Hospital in Brooklyn, New York. It has a lot of affiliations with one of some of the top hospitals in the United States and in the United Kingdom. It sort of broadens your chances of getting residency once you're done. To be able to do my rotations in the States or the UK is a really big advantage. When I moved to do my clinical rotations for third and fourth year, my plan is actually to go to the US and to experience that healthcare system for a while, which is not something I could have done if I was in a UK medical school. The bone that's missing here, that's in the back here, is called a boomer. So you have rotundum. This is the optic canal. Yeah. Yeah. It would be F more zone. I remember one night, just out of the blue, you know, I'm looking through a heart and I'm like, wait, I'm really holding someone's heart in my hand. This is the inferior alveolar nerve. This is the inferior here. Here's the muscle. I started with the Keith B. Taylor Global Scholars Program, and so I did my first two terms over at Northumbria University in Newcastle. You get the exposure to Europe and different types of practices, which is what the main aim was. Over the four years, I will have studied in four different countries, which friends of mine that are in medicine in Canada they're, they're blown away by that. We have visiting professors from all over the world, from every university you can imagine. So with their experience, they tell us what's the most important issues affecting their countries. Anytime you want appointments with professors, they're way more than willing to help you out. I've gotten so much face time with PhDs and MDs, and I, didn't, I don't think I would be able to get that in America. The faculty and the administration were almost like my family. Like, I still communicate with them now. I talk to them on the phone. V3. Mandibular division. Oh, Mandibular division. The anatomy lab is wonderful. The lecture halls are fantastic. They are stadium seating pretty much. And the acoustics are great. Everybody gets a chance to see the professor. That's everything I expected and more. Big classrooms that had all your accommodations, wireless internet everywhere. Retention. What we can tell is from the creatinine clearance, we can tell it's a live geophile. The support base is very strong and it's very big, and it's, it's definitely not sink or swim. There's no cutthroat mentality. Everybody actually helps each other out. It's a great setup here. They really want to look after you and help you to do well. This is our trisaccharide bridge, galactose, galactose, xylose, and this is our protein. Becoming a good doctor is not only getting good grades, but it's also allowing yourself to be exposed and influenced by different ways of practicing medicine. We're the St. George's uh, Pediatrics Club. We bring a bunch of kids onto campus. Um, this term we're doing Queen Elizabeth Home, last term we did Bel Air. So we just try to bring them on campus, have different stations set up, and just let them have a good time while they're learning about their bodies and health. Good job, guys. Good job. That's to what it's done very well is shown consistently that it's able to produce top quality physicians who are not only able to take board exams very well, but who are also very competent in the hospital and who can relate to their patients very well. As medical students in first and second year, we kind of go out in the community in Grenada and set up health clinics. We set up stations where we can test the local population's BMI, their blood pressure, do HIV testing, sickle cell testing. And it was such a rewarding experience for me. It kind of helped me with the transition to the clinics here in the hospital in Brooklyn, New York. C, F, D. Medical school is so fast and there's so much information coming at you. When you put the books down and you step off campus, it's nice to get that slow sense of let's not get caught up in in life every day, let's just enjoy it. I do a lot of studying, but then I can walk outside and go to the beach or go to the market and experience the Caribbean life. And it's 82 degrees every day, it's, and sunshine, it's excellent. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm looking out here, and you've got the sea right behind me and the sun. And you do sit there after a while and think, I could be in some dreary grey town in England at medical school. And that's one of the best things about being here is you've worked for weeks and weeks to take a really hard exam and then afterwards you can just go straight down, lie on the beach in the sun and enjoy it.
white coat ceremony is usually done the first term, first week. So it's like um, it's the starting process and the doctor making. Now you're entering a new phase and it's like I'm finally here. It's medical school and everybody's really pumped and ready to go. And it had a very big impact on me, I think. SGU's main goal is to make everybody a better doctor worldwide. I'm living my dream now. I'm here working in the hospital, which is where I always wanted to be. It's given me the opportunity to complete my dream, of which, uh, of which I've dedicated myself to. It's just like something that I would never change for anything in the world.